Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cade. Uh, I wanted to do a video today about showering at the gym. And I wanted to do this because I was really nervous to shower at the gym. And after doing it, I found that I actually really love showering at the gym. Just to kind of like relax and kind of like cool down or, you know, wind down after working out. To take a shower, you're gonna wanna bring a few things with you from home. Uh, first thing, a towel. I use a microfiber kind of travel towel, uh, or you can do like a hand towel just to keep it small and easy to fit into your bag. Um, I also bring some slides or flip-flops that I can wear into the shower um, so that my feet don't touch whatever nastiness is in there. And then I bring sort of travel sizes of all my favorite uh, soap, shampoo, conditioner, and then my face wash. Um, and I've got a shower caddy, so I put my scrubby in here and a couple other things. Um, but bring your favorite stuff. Make it, don't make it a half-ass shower. Like bring what you love, bring your favorite things so it's like de-stress, wind down, and just enjoy it. At home, I also prepare what clothes I'm gonna wear walking out of the shower back to my locker. Um, so I got a t-shirt here and I fold it up and I've got a packer and then some fresh boxers and then I just wrap it all up sort of like this and then I put it in this Ziploc and it doesn't have to go all the way in and I'll show you that in a little bit later. Once you're at your locker and ready to uh, go jump into the shower, what I like to do is I take my bottoms off and switch my shoes into my shower shoes um, and then I'll take my towel and put it around my chest or my shoulders um, so this kind of hides my chest because I work out in a sports bra and then I'll take my shower caddy out that's got my loofah in here usually and I'll hold this in front of my crotch because I'm in boxers but I usually don't pack at the gym so I'll hold this in front of my crotch so nobody can tell that there's not a bulge there. And then I'll walk uh, to the shower, basically. The gyms that I've used have had two different kinds of showers. Um, one being it's just a small shower with a curtain that opens and then you step in and shut it behind you. I've also used showers uh, where there's like a glass door, you walk inside and there's like some hooks and a shelf and like a mirror just really nice and makes it a lot easier and more private. Um, and then you turn and then your shower is, you know, kind of a separate area so your things don't get wet and you have space to change and get ready inside of there. That bigger private shower is gonna be much easier to just walk into and then have privacy and be able to, you know, bring in more things that you need or to change completely, whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna focus on using a shower where it's just the stall and you slide the curtain open and shut. Now I'm gonna pretend that I'm standing inside of the shower and that this is the curtain that I've shut behind me. So first thing, I'll take my towel and hang it over the curtain rod. That way people on the outside can see there's a towel and someone's probably in there. Um, go ahead and undress. There's usually a little, well at Planet Fitness, there's a little soap dispenser and I just hang like my boxers and my binder on that and I take my shirt and put it over the curtain as well. Um, then the last thing I have with me is my shower caddy and I usually will try to hang it on the curtain rod as well. Um, what I do is I unhook the curtain ring and slide this in and then clip it on. Kind of a pain but you can bring a hook or I don't know a carabiner or something if you want to do this as well. So my curtain rod just fell over. <laughs> Uh, but I'm going to hang my shower caddy on there. Gently this time. Now I'm ready. I'll wash myself, um, enjoy the hot water for a little bit. And then when I'm done, I'll go ahead and grab my towel. That happens, so be careful for that. Um, I'll dry myself off. And now my towel's gone, but so you can still see my shirt hanging over. So people still aren't gonna bust in my shower. Um, but I'll dry myself off. And then I have my clothes that were in my Ziploc in my caddy. So everything is dry. 
Um, nothing can, you know, really wet it. So now I've got these uh, dry uh, binder, my shirt, put on boxers, and then I'm basically done. Shake off my sandals, grab all my stuff, and head back to the uh, locker. Hopefully telling you guys how I use the shower at the gym uh, helps you or gives you some ideas to start showering at the gym if that's something you're looking to do. Um, pro tip, I used to only allow myself to shower if I went to the gym and I would shower at the gym. Um, so that made me go to the gym a shit ton more. So if I needed to shower to go to dinner or something, then like I had to make time to hit the gym that day. But really make it worth it. Like bring your favorite stuff, like the, you know, soap and shampoo. Like I don't care if it smells fruity, whatever. It's awesome. And it just feels so nice to just wind down and like relax and like you just change and then, you know, you're ready for whatever. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope that it helps you. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And of course, leave me a comment if this has helped you, if you've got some tips um, or if you've got a question, something I totally missed and you know, you're wondering about. I'm really happy to put videos like this out um, really just in hopes that it helps at least, you know, one person or a handful of people or however many. Uh, but thank you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.